I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called BitLife. Now, my friend Cassie told me about this game. She said you should play it. It's right up your alley. It's super fun and super easy to do. I'm looking at a little wiggly sperm right in its face. So I guess we're getting into that right now because it's cool with that and you're down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Okay, so what do we do here? What do you think? Age one year. All right, let's just age another year. Age three, nothing. Age four, nothing. Age five, nothing. Age six, I started elementary school. Okay. Quality time, your mother wants to take you sailing. Will you go with her? Of course I will. I'm too busy right now. Argue with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm six years old. What can I possibly be arguing about? Of course I will. You went sailing with your mother. Your enjoyment is that, and her enjoyment is that. So she enjoyed it just a little bit more than me. Just a baby dick longer than me. Age nine, nothing. Age 10, nothing. Age 11, nothing. Man, this guy's boring. I'm a boring ass person. Age 12, Raven Lee. A girl from school named Raven Lee has asked you out. She's not that good looking. Ugh. I'm not trying to go out with some ghouls. I mean, I know I'm pretty young. You know, there's going to be a lot of girls out there in the world. But her looks are in the orange zone. I mean, it's not the red zone, but orange is, ugh, you know, it's, ugh. Smarts, she's not that smart. She's low key a dumbass. Craziness is low. But she's very popular. I guess I'll start dating. Let's see what's up. Lovebirds, you are now going out with Raven Lee. Okay. I'm going out with Raven Lee. So let's see our relationship. This is my girlfriend. Have a baby with her? Oh, hell no, boy. <laughs> she's 11 years old. How am I going to have a baby with her? Let's age up a little bit more. Age 13 years, nothing happened. But let me check my relationships. Let's spend some time with our old father. He's 59. We don't know how many years he has left. So let's spend some time with him. You and your father went to play golf. Okay, that was cute. That's sweet. What about my mama? Let's spend time with her too. You and your mother went to play golf. Okay, both of my parents are golfers. Cool. Your girlfriend Raven is pregnant with your baby. Keep the baby or get an abortion. Okay, hold on. If I say get an abortion, you guys are gonna roast me in the comments. You guys are gonna roast me like some barbecue chicken. Hold up. I really gotta think about this because I'm still in school. Like, if I go to school and have a kid, one of us is not gonna have a good life. And then bringing the kid into the world, it's gonna be a pretty shitty time. This is not even real, but like, it's getting intense. Do I just get the abortion? You know what? I'm gonna do it. You make your girlfriend Raven get an abortion. Pro choice. You have been diagnosed with tonsillitis, so that's karma. So I guess I gotta do the activities and then I gotta go to the doctor. Let's go to the medical doctor and let's go to Dr. Fabian Nelson. Dr. Nelson has determined you are currently suffering from tonsillitis. He has outlined the following treatments. Treat tonsillitis. You continue to suffer from tonsillitis? What a shitty doctor. Let's talk to my girlfriend. Let's spend time with her. Always a good time. You took your girlfriend Raven canoeing. I think I'm gonna break up with her soon because she's not that cute and we just got an abortion. Things are kind of like on a rocky road right now. So I don't know how I feel. Let me study harder too. I began studying harder for elementary school. Wait, I got her pregnant and I'm still in elementary school and I got an abortion? Man, this life is fucked up. <laughs> All right, I started high school. Wait, I was 14 years old and I was in elementary school? Man, I must have been held back some years. Okay, so I started high school. Let's uh break up with my girlfriend. Let's just dump her, break up with her. Are you sure you want to break up with your current girlfriend, Raven? Yes! You broke up with your girlfriend, Raven. Okay, she's my ex. Who's my next? Before we do anything about love, let's go to our mind and body. Go to the gym. Go to the local gym and work out today. Cost $20. Wait, how much money do I have? I have zero? <laughs> I'm broke as a joke? Let's check social media. Your friends are all joining social media. Will you join too? Yes. Share BitLife in order to join social media? Fuck no. And I just realized I'm a dumbass with 20% smart, so I'm gonna keep studying. Can I just like milk this for as much as I can? I'm just gonna keep studying, guys. You are no longer suffering from tonsillitis. It took me from like age 14 to 16. How long did I have tonsillitis? Driving license. It's time to take your driving test. Will you take it? What does this road sign mean? It means wheelies only. <laughs> okay, handicap parking or handicap crossing? Handicap parking is blue, right? So this must mean handicap crossing. Too easy. You passed your driving test. Let's go, guys. I can drive now. Let's get it. Let me go to school, too. I don't want to be a dumbass. I got to get into a good college. Let me find a date after I spend time with my mom because I love my mom so much. Let's study a little bit harder. And now let's go find a date because I don't want to be single, guys. I need a honey. Lynn Jenkins, a girl from school named Lynn Jenkins asked you out. She's age 16. Her looks are better than my last girlfriend, but she's a dumbass. She's high-key a dumbass. And she's crazy. 
Sometimes they say the crazy ones are the best ones, but I don't know about that. She's pretty popular too. I'm gonna reject that ass. Lin Ho? Oh man, this hoe? A girl from school named Lin Ho has asked you out. Her looks are okay. She's not that smart. She's pretty crazy. She's pretty popular. I'll reject that hoe. Paisley Scott is so damn fine. Look at that look. That's hot. All the way max level. But she's crazy as hell. But she's pretty popular and her smarts are in the green. So let's ask her out. Paisley Scott rejected you. She called you a putz. What? She called me a putz? You are feeling heterosexual tendencies. What are you? I'm straight. I'm bi. I'm gay. You know what? Nothing wrong with being a little bi. I'm going to say I'm bisexual. Let's see where that takes us. You're tempted to ask out a boy from school named Master McClure. That's a dope ass name. I'm going to ask him out just because his name is so sick. <laughs> Oh, you are now going out with Master McClure. Yay. Got my first boyfriend. So I had a girlfriend that wasn't that cute. And now I got a boyfriend whose name is Master McClure. How badass is that name? Let's check this relationship out. Let's have a baby with him. How are we going to do that? We're kids. We need to be 18 in order to be able to adopt somebody, right? We can't have a baby with each other. You and your boyfriend, Master, had a heart-to-heart -heart about who would win in a fight between Taylor Swift and Adele. And we were both in agreement with that. You know what? Let me see something. I'm 17, right? Yeah, I'm 17, and I'm going out with a guy that I could have a baby with, but we're both not the legal age to be able to adopt somebody. I kind of want to see how that works. He says, what the fuck? You and your boyfriend, Master, are unable to have a baby. Well, surprise, surprise. I'm going to ask my dad for some money. They really do love me. Your father gave you $8? <laughs> Bitch couldn't even give me $10? What kind of cheapskate-ass Jalen Oliver father-ass? Let me ask you for money, Mom. She gave me $8. What's up with the $8? I can't even get like a full 10. I don't even have 20 total bucks. I have 16. That is a cruel joke. That is a sick joke. I don't even know why I'm studying so damn hard. Wait, why can't I study? I can't study anymore. What? Okay, I graduated from high school and I can apply for a university today. Let's see my major. Music, information systems, math, chemistry, art. These are all pretty shitty majors. I guess I'll go for math because we always need math in a lot of jobs that we do. So let's apply to a university. Your application to university was rejected. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna apply to my local McDonald's. Actually, you know what? It says that we can do some crime. Let's see what that's about. Murder someone, pickpocket someone, steal a car. Well, I am broke. I only have $16 my whole entire 18 years of existence. That is the saddest shit that I've ever seen. So let's pickpocket someone. You could earn some quick money on the streets. What will you do? Pick your victim. A blind man, a bus driver, a monk. Okay, monks usually don't have anything on them, I think. A bus driver, eh, that's kind of risky. Let's go with a blind guy. Pickpocket him. Real slick. The blind man saw you and ran off. Oh what? My God. The blind man saw me and ran off? Are you sick? How did the blind man see me? How did the blind man see me? You got me fucked up. <laughs> the blind man saw me and ran off. The blind man saw me. You just, I don't even know anymore. Okay, we're not doing crime anymore. If a blind man saw me, that is a sign that I should never go into a life of crime. Okay, fertility, let's see. Donate sperm. Yeah, I can make some quick cash. Horseshoe or atrium? Let's go with horseshoe. No thanks. Horseshoe Fertility Lab is not interested in your sperm. They don't want this godly sperm. And now I got an ad. They didn't want my sperm, but they wanted my money from these ads. Thanks. Okay, so now I'm 18 and we can adopt the child. So I knew you had to be 18 to adopt the child. But sorry, Master McClure. I am not going to break up with you because you're still in high school. This is illegal. Hold up. I got to break up with you because the FBI might be coming for my ass. You broke up with your boyfriend, Master. Ugh. What a great name. What a great, great name. While taking out the trash, you meet a young woman named Penelope Boner. Age 25, are you sure she's that young? She is a cadet at Orlando Police Department. She has all the right stats in all the right places. Let's ask her out on a date. Not my type after all. Penelope Boner rejected you. She called you a dick. Is there any way I can apply for a university? Let's try music. Your application to university was rejected. How about community college? Enroll in community college today. Sign me up. You are now enrolled in community college. Okay, so we're gonna go that route. We're gonna go to community college and then we'll apply for a university when he's like 20 or 21 or something. Sierra swallows? Does Sierra really swallow? Ryan O'Connor is age 20 and he's an apprentice makeup artist at Aristotle Films. He has bad looks, but he's smart, he has money, and he's pretty crazy. Let me ask him on a date. True love, you are now dating Ryan O'Connor. Yes! Okay, stepping stones, guys. We're not using this guy, 
but he definitely has some things that could help us out, like money, and he's working for Aristotle Films, so let's see if he can give us the hookup. How about school? Let's study a little bit harder in school, guys, because we have one more year left of community college, and you graduated from community college. What will you do now? Go to a university, look for a job, or take some time off. Go to university. How will you pay for your university program? Annual tuition, 15450 Years four. Total cost, 61800 Apply for a scholarship. Ask my parents to pay. Apply for a student loan. I am going to ask my parents to pay. Let's see what they say. Gee, thanks. Your parents refuse to pay for your university tuition. Well, I guess I'm going to be a stripper then. Apply for a student loan or apply for a scholarship. Yeah, let's do that. Rejected. Great. I love getting rejected. I am not going to apply for a student loan. I'll be paying that for the rest of my life. So how about we just go to the military? Let's try the military. Let's go to the Navy. Aye, aye. Welcome to the Navy. So my salary is 19200 I'm a seaman. Okay, I love being a seaman. Even though you have a boyfriend, you have an opportunity to have a one-night stand with a boy named Ezra Black. What will you do? The looks are way up there. No, I'm a faithful boyfriend or sleep with him. Man, I'll sleep of with him. Of course! I'll be top, he'll be bottom. Things are getting hot with Ezra Black, and you're thinking about safe sex. It looks like he has some craziness going on down below. What will you do? Wait, what does craziness mean? Like, is he hung like King Kong? What does that mean? Or does he have, like, a bunch of warts all over his sack? Use a condom. Don't use a condom. Never mind. I can't do it. Of course we're going to protect ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Oh, yeah. You had a one-night stand with Ezra Black. You walk around with a pep in your step the next day. Your enjoyment, his enjoyment. Well, he enjoyed it a little bit more than me, but I kind of feel bad because we cheated on our guy. Genital herpes? Yeah, been what? How did I get herpes? I wrapped it up. I wrapped it up like a Christmas gift. No freaking way. Your boyfriend Ryan is arguing with you because you gave him herpes. What will you do? Argue back to him. Apologize to him. Well, that's beyond messed up that we gave him herpes too. So we gave him herpes and now we're going to break up with him. I'm sorry. See ya. You broke up with your boyfriend, Ryan. So now we're just going to focus on our job. I can't believe I had a one night stand, man. It affected my happiness so much. It's at 7%. Let me just uh, spend some time with my mom. Let's see what we do with her. You and your mother went to catch butterflies. That's stupid. All right, let me age up one year. I got herpes. You have been promoted to semen. I'm still a semen? End life? I can actually end my life? Dude, this game is dark. Let me age up one more time. Some of your friends are going to a local nightclub called Vivian's Lounge. Will you join them? That's where I got herpes at. Okay, I feel like clubbing. You went clubbing at Vivian's Lounge. You have been offered Adderall. What will you do? Give me the Adderall. I say no to drugs. I'm in the Navy, so I can't take drugs because then I'll get drug tested like every month. So I got to say no. I got to say no to it. And then I got an ad for it. I bet you guys if I said yes to Adderall, I would have been caught by the military and then I would have gotten kicked out. And then I would have just became a bum. But let's age up one more time. And we've been promoted to Petty Officer Second Class. Let's go, guys. Things are really looking up. Look at my bank balance. I think I'm going to buy something. Let's go real estate. Shop for real estate. Go shopping for real estate today. Yes, let me get a house. Lynn Gross Wiener Realtors. <laughs> I am not going with somebody named Gross Wiener. Actually, maybe I am. Because I have herpes, so I have a Gross Wiener too. This charming townhome is six figures. But maybe I can rent it out, right? Monthly expense, $94. Monthly mortgage, 487 Condition is really bad. Actually, this two-bedroom, two-bath is not that bad. It's only 15 years old. And the monthly mortgage isn't that high. And it's in good condition. But we can't afford it, so let's apply for a mortgage. New pad, you are now the owner of the Rambler. Cool. Let's throw a house party. Nine guests came to the party at your Rambler. The police showed up after your neighbors complained about the noise. What will you do? Argue with them or apologize for the noise. You know what? I'm tired of being a nice guy. I'm gonna argue with them. Oh, hell no. The police searched your house and found some of your guests using crank. Aw, oh, dude. You've been charged with drug possession and are facing one year in prison. Which local law firm will you hire to defend you in court? I guess you gotta spend money to go with the best, right? We're gonna go with Champion and Associates. You have been found not guilty of drug possession. I told you guys. Let me age up a little bit. Depression. You have been diagnosed with depression. Oh, no. Where is, like, a psychologist I can talk to? Go on vacation. There we go. Let's go somewhere. Detroit. Fuck no, dude. Cairo Incheon. Addis Ababa. I have no idea what the hell that is. You have selected a business class vacation to South Korea. Do it. Globetrotter. You went on a business class vacation to South Korea. Let me find a date. Warren Basio, a guy you met while on a hike in the mountains, has asked you out on a date. He's a private in the Marines. He has no money, though. I'm rejecting him. I'm not saying that money's everything, but if you're just broke like that and then I'm broke too, it's not a good mix. This girl, Violet Stewart, is a senior flight attendant at Marathon Air. She has very good stats all across the board. Let me ask her out on a date. 
Ouch. Violet Stewart rejected you. She called you a bitch. What's up with these mean people every time they reject me? You know what? I'm gonna go back to a life of crime. Let's murder somebody. Let's murder Hunter Grant, who's my friend, a random accountant, Ryan O'Connor, my ex, Olivia Oliver, my mother, or Raven Lee, my ex. Wow. Dude, this is crazy. My method could be electrocution, drive-by, stairway to hell, club them, atomic wedgie. I could kill somebody, but it says you've got a really bad feeling about this. So we're just gonna back it up. We're just gonna back it up a couple steps. Now I have a dishonorable discharge from the military. The reason is my performance. I served 11 years and that's how you're gonna do me? I'm gonna insult my commanding officer. Later, meathead, you called your commanding officer a turd burglar on your way out. Ooh, water slide tester? Let me apply. Of course I got the water slide tester job. You know what? I don't want this house anymore. I'm going to sell this house. Yes, I want to sell the Rambler. You managed to get 104000 God damn. damn, I made a lot of money from that. Wait, but I only have 64000 Oh, it's because I bought it and then I made the profit. So I don't actually get all that money. Okay, I get it. I get it. Let's find a date because now I'm rich. Amy Roosevelt is a lady that I met during a baseball game and she asked me out on a date. She's an assistant chief at Orlando Fire Department. She has a lot of money. She's not that smart, though, so maybe she'll slip up and give me her money. Let's start dating her. Yes, you are now dating Amy Roosevelt. Since she has a lot of money, let me actually have a baby with her. Not with you. Your girlfriend Amy does not want to have a baby with you. Damn! Okay, it says right here that I'm a witness. While at a hockey game, you witness a hipster trying to burn down a church. What will you do? Look the other way, try to intervene, call the police. I'm gonna try to intervene. You successfully stopped a hipster from trying to burn down a church. Wow, I'm a hero. I'm a true American hero. Okay, I'm gonna actually propose marriage to my girlfriend. Your girlfriend, Amy, rejected your marriage proposal. Damn, what a bitch! It says right here that I can set up a threesome with an evil devil face. Let's try this. Your girlfriend, Amy, is not interested in having a threesome. Argue with her. You screamed at your girlfriend, Amy, for not wanting to have a threesome. And then what? Did anything happen? She doesn't even like me anymore. Have a conversation with her. So it's like that. Your girlfriend, Amy, isn't interested in having a conversation with you. Okay, so we're just going to be with each other, but we don't even like each other. Let me age up a little bit. And your mother has asked you to take her sailing. Will you take her? Of course I will. I'm too busy right now. Argue with her. Why can I argue with everybody? Of course I will. You're my mom. I love you. Your father has passed away at the age of 81. He died of complications from old age. Attend his funeral or skip his funeral. Of course we're going to attend it. He's our dad. Your girlfriend Amy wants to break up with you. She says it's because she is tired of your disgusting behaviors. What will you do? Beg her to stay, wish her well, insult her one last time? <laughs> Screw it. Amy broke up with you. You called her psycho as she was walking out the door. This game is hilarious. You are suffering from diarrhea. Mama Mia diarrhea. And now I'm suffering from another ad. Let's just keep aging up, guys. Let's see what happens. While out grocery shopping, you encountered a lion. What will you do? Pet it? Retreat slowly? Run from my life? Try to rescue it? I know if I pet it, I'm just going to be lion food. Retreat slowly? I'm just delaying the inevitable. Run for my life? I don't know if I can run faster than a lion. Try to rescue it? That doesn't even make any goddamn sense. Okay, we're going to retreat slowly. I encountered a lion but retreated carefully. Really? That actually worked? I thought I was going to be dead. Okay, let me age up again. I'm 37 now. I have fibromyalgia. I don't even know if I said that right. What is that? Okay, I'm going to go see a doctor for that. Maybe I could put some cream on it. Dr. Goldfarb has determined you are currently suffering from genital herpes, depression, and fibromyalgia. She has outlined the following treatments. Yes, treat my genital herpes first. You are no longer suffering from herpes. So I've had herpes for so much of my life and I could have just treated it like that? Oh man, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb, but this is my first time playing this. A woman you met while playing chess at a park with an old man has asked you on a date. She's 50? Damn, grandma. I'll start dating you. She got some money. You are now dating Destiny Jimenez. Let's have a baby with her. Not with you. Why does she not want to have a baby with me, man? Your girlfriend, Destiny, asked you to marry her. You have been together for seven years. What will you do? She has a bunch of money. She's not that crazy. She's kind of smart. She's not that good looking, but she's not super ghoulish either. Our relationship is pretty good. So let's accept her proposal because I'm 50 years old, man. You are now engaged to your girlfriend, Destiny. You are suffering from the flu. One day, you find a flask of brandy in your desk with a note that says, Make today great. What will you do? Make today great one swig at a time. Throw it in the trash. No. We're cleaning up our act. We are not going to be alcoholics. 
because we did drugs before and we've got caught with herpes and stuff like that, I'm just gonna be good from now on because my life is good. Psych. My mother passed away at the age of 81. Oh, God. Inheritance, $38,000. Okay, your fiance Destiny is demanding you get married. You have been engaged for four years. What will you do? Break up with her, call off the engagement, or plan the wedding. Let's plan it. I have no more parents, so let's plan it. You have chosen to marry Destiny at the church and take her to Manila, Philippines for your honeymoon. Do it! You're thinking about whether you should make your fiancé Destiny sign a prenuptial agreement before marrying her. What will you do? Your net worth is 255000 Her net worth is $1.3 million? We don't need a prenup. She already makes her own money. Now that you're married, you're wondering if you should change your last name. What last name will you choose? Change to Jimenez Oliver all the way. Mr. Jimenez. Your name is now Matthew Jimenez. You found a positive pregnancy test in your wife Destiny's purse despite not having had sex with her in more than nine months. What will you do? I haven't had sex with her in more than nine months? I thought I was beating her guts like every single time trying to have a kid. Assault her, argue with her, divorce her, forgive and forget. You know what? I'm gonna divorce her. The judge demands that Destiny Jimenez pay you the amount of $509,000 to settle your divorce. Oh my Holy God. shit. Now that you're divorced, you're thinking about changing your name back. What will you do? I'm gonna stay as Mr. Jimenez. I'd rather fuck with that last name. You know what, guys? Let's end this on a very sick note. Let's murder somebody. Let's murder Destiny Jimenez. Pick your method. Stairway to hell. Drive by. Club them. Atomic wedgie. Electrocution. Let's go with atomic wedgie. Commit the murder. Uh-oh. You attempted to pull your ex Destiny's underwear over her face. Ow. Aggravated assault. She attacked you with a switchblade. She sliced your forearm. Matthew Jimenez, you died at the age of 62. You died after sustaining massive injuries in an assault. My net worth was $858,000. Rest in peace or haunt this game. I'm gonna haunt this game. So my life was mediocre. I was born in Orlando. My career was a makeup artist. My education is community college. I've had seven lovers and I passed away at the age of 62. No one came to his funeral. A handsome young man, Matthew, got a job as a makeup artist and put in 30 years with Dynamite Film Institute. Rumor has it he once tried eating chicken feet. Okay, guys. So that's the end of my first experience with BitLife. If you guys want to try this, it's free. It's a mobile game. It's actually pretty fun, so let me know if you guys want me to try this again. And also, if I try this again, let me know in the comments down below what kind of career path or what kind of life you guys would want me to have. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of BitLife, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!